Album. When Terrence Dean broke into the entertainment industry, he was young, ambitious, and fresh out of jail. Running from a troubled past, he quit jacking cars and hid out in the only place where an ex-con might actually feel welcome. The rap industry. As he climbed the ranks, producing for media companies like Buena Vista and MTV, no one ever suspected he was hiding a jail record. Or one other thing. There are a lot of artists that I write about who are living double lives, and I know that they're struggling with their sexuality as well. In his recently published memoir, Hiding in Hip Hop, Dean recounts illicit gay affairs that he said he had with well-known and even historical figures in the industry. Of course, it's not the first time people have suspected that many of rap's thuggest figures aren't necessarily shooting uh, straight. In fact, there's even a name for it. Homo thugs. I don't. I really don't know no homo thugs. Why are these homo thugs around here? I will be on set, you know, and you'll hear, you know, the crew members or an artist using derogatory names and saying things. Mm -hmm. And I will laugh and, you know, go along with the joke and, and try it in sometimes. But I knew deep within myself that I was actually referring to myself. But it's not that. But At the end of the day, I think people should realize Hollywood and the music industry is all about creating illusions, you know, making people want to fall in love and go out and buy those records of their favorite artists and celebrities. It's an illusion even Dean isn't ready to diss. Who, 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 who is the gay rap? Bloggers who had been buzzing about his juicy memoir for months before the book's release were disappointed to find that Dean didn't necessarily deliver the expose they'd been expecting. There are some people who say that since you changed the names that you're not really going the full Monty. What do you say to that? Well, again, because I, I want people to know that this is still my story, you know, and, I, and I'm hopefully we'll create a dialogue that is so needed within our community. So you're not playing on this fantasy that a lot of gay men have that Tyrese is just gonna <laughs> show up at their door one day and sweep them off their feet? A celebrity very may well do that. <laughs> <laughs> a little something to think about next time you're rolling with your homies. Shamion Antoine, CBS News on Logo, New York.